and even striking the great in relation also to our uh, discussions is that through the world, it seems like throughout the existence of the world, it seems almost like only some people can have certain kinds of ideas. You know? And other people can't. I mean, they just have to be part of the, 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 the herd, the masses, just to make up the numbers, you know? Whereas only some people have great ideas and great things, etc. You know? And that is a bullshit we have to lose. A bullshit, yeah. Uh, that ultimately we are one. And every body, every soul that is separated into its own sphere of existence anytime, has the capacity to eventually get to the same place. You understand what I'm saying? Therefore, when they get to that capacity, is not the issue. It is that they, they, everybody is set on the way to get that capacity. Some people get it this way, some people get it that way, but they all go in there and get that capacity to be that, to be human, to be fully aware. That is the ultimate human, is a fully aware human. Yeah? Aware of existence and all of it all together. We have not got anywhere near that. But we're getting there. But the thing is that when we say, oh, 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 oh like oh, Descartes, or Nietzsche, or somebody with one of those kinds of people could have had such ideas. You know? mm -hmm. But that's the bullshit of it. First of all, those ideas are very early level ideas in, 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 related to, uh, in comparison to what we're going after and understanding all of existence, you know, so they're not that great anyway, you know? but even at the greatness of it, some people get there through their path earlier than other people, you know, some people uh, have a conversion experience when they're children, some have a conversion experience when they're old, some have no conversion experience, you know, it's, it's like, it doesn't matter when it, it occurs, right? But if you're going to change and you think, oh, I'm going to think differently through a conversion experience, it could happen under, under so many different circumstances. Right? But it, the thing is that we are all living in order to um, improve that capacity in whatever this, uh, thing it is. You know, they improve our capacity to be that human. You know, ultimately, the Monir Manush that I've talked to you about will be the same Monir Manush for all of existence. And then you look back and say, oh, but that's God, no? <laughs> it's the same thing, you know? But what we have not done is not understood. We've just created this notion of God in a, a sort of a phase and a feeling of awe. You know, oh, look, we are nothing, and God is everything. And God... <laughs> We are the ones who are God, but we haven't understood our capacity yet to be that God. We can only understand it through live, living out multiple times until we come to that space of wisdom and go, oh, okay, okay, okay. Now in this life, having been an old soul of this kind, I can understand this for myself, right? But the point at the end of it all is that would be theoretically the direction in which it's going, but in reality, once one, it's not any individual who learns it all and nobody else then can learn the same. Everybody learns at the same time. Now, it's like this guy was saying, one time you would never have known of an event in another, another part of the world. You know, now there's no proximity issue. It's, it's all right there, right there for you. You know, so we now, we have, the, we're getting closer to that capacity. That the, which is, as I understand it, the ultimate objective of all existence is to get to that capacity of being that entity that can stand in the world and not be the world and yet know the world. In the sense of be the world that way, know the world in, in and out, absolutely. You know? Not any given portion at any given moment in time. This is be able to know anything that comes up, nothing, um, is, is in the space of the, oh, I have no idea what that is. You know? And we know how, how to operate in the world. That, that is, in many sense, we can just think of it as the perfectly adjusted human. You know? Now, the thing is, nobody here into this world yet has 
arrived at that space. But all we, each one of us are doing is pushing a little, a little, you know, towards that space, towards whatever we are trying to do and make it better, you know, trying to reject the, the difficult parts of it, the problematic parts of it, and knowing, so seeing that, oh my, I could become really, really very good, very good at evil. You know, but learning with as you go further along, with, okay, <laughs> you know, the what evil allows me to do is to see what my capacities are, but it are it, it, my motivations are what I have to find a way to settle into a structure which is you know internally consistent. You know, I cannot be a person who uh, you know understands the world in in a certain way and yet feel base desires to fuck over individual other people. You know, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. What I'm talking about is what is our objective in existence? What what is the objective? No, we can't do it in this life, right? But it is over lives and lifetimes in happening that we are getting ourselves better and better and better at understanding what existence is. We don't stand in awe like we used to of, oh, the gods have ordered this shit. You know, we don't see that in the newspapers. Oh, gods order nuclear strike or shit like that, you know. Or God orders nuclear strike. God is not an entity in today's world. In another world, we used to. Mm -hmm. You know, they definitely an entity in the church. You think, oh, God is the one doing this shit. Mm -hmm. You know, but the secular world is saying, we can't talk like that, mm -hmm. right? So this, the thing, what we are trying to come to being, be, you know, is to be essentially that God that we have imagined in the first place, but in a very, very practical sense. Mm -hmm. You know. And we have not arrived there, but each one of us in the world is developing ourselves and that, that ourself of the whole in a certain direction and rejecting the stuff that we that does not sit well with what we are trying to do, with what we are arriving at. For instance, my impulse to kill everything that comes in my way. You know, I banish to put that away. You know, when some kid goes, right? Something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a kid who has that impulse. You know, likes to kill insects, you know, continuously killing things. But at some point realizes, ah, oh, maybe, maybe that's not so good. Mm -hmm. You know? And understanding what the impulse is, the human impulse, but also the human facticity of existence. Like, what is human, what is existence at all, for that matter? You know? Most of us have no idea, so therefore we just give out whatever life we've been given. We say, okay, fuck it, man, let's just get to the end of this life, and you know? Or, oh, I figured out how to be, you know, eat well and live on the Riviera and shit like that, you know, whatever it might be, you know. But it's all just restricted to individuals and people, separate, not the, not going towards that one monir manush of, of, of it all, you know, uh, because we don't know. It says so much, in fact, this on, on, on um, balance, there's way, way more misery in the world than there is, is happiness and joy, you know. Sadly, that, that seems, you know, is the case, right? Well, many rich people say, oh no, but the children out there, you know, they're quite enjoying themselves in the, in the refugee camps, you know? <laughs> the thing is that this is the kind of stupidity that is, is you know, utter, right? Yeah, that reminds me of the, the some, a joke, I think it's a, a Maybe Dave Chappelle joke or something where he's like talking about the plantations and the slaves are singing their their slave songs after work or whatever. They're around the fire or something. Yeah, they're singing songs. Happy. And yeah, exactly. The owner's like, wow, they sound like they're having a good time over there. You know? <laughs> like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, they must be happy, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, well, see, um, the thing is, there is mo much more misery in this place, in, mm -hmm. the, in the world out there. The panic of animals, for instance, because we're not thinking about how we, what we're doing, and you know, uh, we're killing them, and you know, and the manner in which we kill them, the manner in which their lives have been turned upside down, you know, these shows like this animal communicator show you that no man, this, they animals have absolutely very, you know, 
every right to be here and living you know, as comfortably as any of us. Mm -hmm. You know, and yes, we will eat the animals, you know, mm -hmm. but what we, the, you know, the, the simple prayer of, uh, put out by these people that, you know, put, it, put out the spirit of that animal that, look, could you, you know, allow for one of your animals to lose its way, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. so that we might catch it, and, you know, yeah. and then they treat it respectfully when they do the kill. And they know exactly where to go to find it and it, it, yeah. it, it, in communion. Yeah. 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 So the thing is that we we have lost that sense and gained it and lost it, you know, maybe because we haven't understood it yet, because we haven't understood where we're going. Right? So every every impulse has to be allowed its moment. You see, to but has to be dealt with by an adult. I'm using the word, you know, to mean responsibility, I suppose, but by an adult mind. You know, saying, ah, okay, and a, and a child could deploy an adult mind. You know, what I mean by that is a responsible way of thinking, you know? uh, But to be able to take something bad and say, ah, okay, 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 that kind of thing does not fit. Actively, rather than just, you know, say, well, you know, I got punished for that, that's why I don't do it. You know, um, understanding for yourself that where everything fits in existence such that we are continuing to put this whole jigsaw together for the future for that human being and I'm not saying it's going to be one human being because clearly what I'm trying to say now to, to add if I what I've said so far could just be that this is where mankind humankind etc is heading but what we have understood for ourselves is that I do believe that I and your, you, two of us, have this responsibility in this world to actually make this change allowable on a wholesale basis and understandable for the larger group so that we don't have to wait for all of that time to get to being that. Mm -hmm. It's like if, if you can explain it to me, yeah. it will then be accessible. If I yeah. can and live then that, can then, it's, it out to then it's just snap, 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 snap all over the world. People start waking up to what they are capable of, and in comes paradise once again, you know? Well, see, you know, that's I'm, the problem, I'm, that's I'm the problem. Again. The very act, think, thinking in old categories is yeah. the very problem itself, yeah. is to be able to speak in ways that are different from the old categories. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. Don't they use things like, oh, phoenix rising out of the ashes and living in paradise yeah. and killing the devil and all of that shit, yeah. you know? Okay. That was, those were words used when we didn't have an understanding. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's like this whole idea of the hard thing is the spiritual growth. The easy thing is the spiritual paucity. You know, it or leads towards that thing. It is dualistic <laughs> and yet yeah the thing is that we have to conquer ourselves mm. and this is where we and this this thing shows it this video we watched today shows it very nicely mm -hmm. you know that we have to conquer ourselves and say yeah we what have i been fucking saying all this time we are the problem we have to say i've been such an asshole mm -hmm. and be mean it and understand it and you know go from there you know we have we are fucking it up on a regular, everyday basis because we refuse to acknowledge that we are the people creating the problem. So but this is, it's, it's not, at one level, it's not hard to understand, right? You know what I'm talking about. It's an every, it. <laughs> The way I guess it's, it's I might get a little uh, uh, esoteric here, but I think of one of the Don Juan books, the Carlos Castaneda, uh, where we've discussed the fortification, where you suddenly, spiritually speaking, turn at a right angle and look at the yellow wall of haze that is engulfing you and slowly that haze comes again and it's that rubik's cube of the second you think that you're looking at the haze you have to take another right angle 
and it's a constant shifting of this you know spiritual rubik's cube to remind every minute in every breath in every action that i am an asshole and i have to make up for what i've done constantly oh no i don't have it i don't have it and no that's wrong and and coming to the space of constant uh reparation wait, wait, right wait. first first of all yeah you when expressing yourself like this yeah kind of thing, and again to be recorded as well is mm-hmm. try to do it always in relation to yourself as opposed to saying you right yeah, yeah. okay you say right. you should do this right this it has happened to me right this is what i have felt right if you can use that language yeah to just show your experience that you are right getting on to that track that is necessary mm-hmm. of being like every human being responsible for a slight improvement mm-hmm. in our way of responding to just about anything mm-hmm. in the world you know so therefore the fact that i am in a war and you you are you know living in a some kind of lap of luxury somewhere Mm. is just makes us to gathering experience in two different you know mm. realms that is all we're doing you know but we're gathering that experience we are not fussing about oh look how lucky i am or how unlucky i am the mm. i disappears mm. you know the i disappears in the sense of there is the i walking through life but it is not concerned with its comfort etc etc it is looking more with its third eye at ah look at what i'm what i'm understanding Mm. you know mm-hmm. about the about the human spirit which is the same understanding that i would pass on to you who was having a completely different experience over there mm-hmm. and you would understand it completely once i've explained it to you mm-hmm. <clears throat> right mm-hmm. so i'm doing this for all of humanity what mm-hmm. i'm doing is for all of humanity right and we've also come to understand this when some things happen other people pick up on it even though it's never happened before yeah yeah so this is the thing what i'm trying to say in all of this is that we it to me has become abundantly absolutely you know like clear where we are all going why you know that i've had to go through this crazy life to try to get to at least get to, to this understanding of what the fuck and not to say that i understand it perfectly because i'm nowhere near that person mm-hmm. but i have come to a greater understanding than i could ever have had mm-hmm. about any of this mm-hmm. you know because and i realized oh now that whole thing which is supposed to be a big mystery of why are we here why do we exist and all that shit it's not a mystery i see it exactly <laughs> you know anyway let's switch that off now mm-hmm. maybe just take that little bit and you know just just clean it up a little bit and put transcribe it you know i think that i have expressed the basic thought They want to just see after you've transcribed if it makes sense. Yeah?